So here we are in Trevento, Italy, in the region of Molise. And just want to show a little bit of the valley there. But this is the road that I come down coming into Trevento. I take a sharp turn to the right. Um, if you'll notice, that is a probably a two and a half foot um, going up. So I have to take it wide. And this is probably a 45 degree angle all the way up to um, the Palazzo. So, as you can tell, we have a lot of cars um, parked off to the left. Normally these are, these spaces are taken during the regular day, during the week, during the weekend. For those who live um, in the area where we're at, I have, this is my rental car here, this Renault. And it's called a Tringo 5-speed. It's actually a good little car. I had to put a full tank of gas. It was about 44 euros. Not too shabby. Um, don't want to show you the other side. When I took that turn sharply and kind of fell off to the right. But we have folks who have cleared the pathway. There is a procession going on today. It is Sunday. June, let's see, 19th, Corpus Christi. And there will be a beautiful procession coming down from the cathedral all the way down the stairs here, right there, and then going down the stairs um, all the way down to Piazza Fontana, which is our main piazza. Okay, so here is our Palazzo. It is a very, very big house. Uh, we bought the five stories going up, all the way up. There is a terrace right there to your left. And they've got some great, Trevento has some great signage regarding uh, tourist um, items. For example, this is um, just talking about these beautiful fountains that were put in back in the 1930s um, around the town that has you know, good drinking water or a water source. Kind of shows some of those pictures. And it is done in um, both Italian and English. So that's a wonderful thing. Here is the beautiful scene. Um, we are probably halfway up to the cathedral. And I will show you. It goes all the way down. You will see the yellow and white flags celebrating Corpus Christi uh, today. And this goes down to Piazza Fontana, which is our main piazza. So we will come back around. This is the side of our palazzo, goes way up there. This is the second part of the building that we bought. Okay, so we have uh, this door. Uh, we've got that, that, and then we've got off to the side, those two. And then this particular middle door belongs to another owner who has, if you'll uh, think about it like a kind of a slice of bread or a loaf of bread, he has that whole um, ground floor. And I think um, one floor of the basement or the sub-basement. Uh, this used to be a boarding school for children that was opened for boys that was opened in um, right after the, the war when there was um, poverty around Trevento and for families and um, who couldn't afford a formal education for their children. We had Don Bertrando Gianico open this particular boarding 
Hello, hello, this is my friend. Um, so we say hello um, every single day. I haven't said hello to her yet, but he opened this um, convito um, to board the boys and to provide them a formal education. Um, they have reunions every year at the church and we would like one of these days to open up this um, this building to um, at least host their receptions and their reunions. Okay, we're gonna walk in. This is um, the first building that we bought. We have, they do uh, the trash by separation. So carton, uh, paper, um, dry, residual waste. Um, what else? We've got plastic and we've got glass. And then we have organic. So that would be eggshells, garlic, um, those types of things. Okay, so we walk in and we've removed, we had a lot of furniture removal done um, when we were not here. Okay, so we walk in. Those doors lead to the garden. This is the bathroom that um, you may have seen in the pictures in a former video. It is a small bathroom. It's the only bathroom here on the first floor. We've got a washer, of which I've used a couple times. It works fine. Um, and then um, this is the, um, uh, that heats the water. So the water, whatever that is called. Anyway, you have to kind of push it open, do a little magic, turn it on, and then it heats the water. These are some of the lines and yeah. Okay, so we're gonna now walk in to the dining room. Okay, so this is the dining room. We uh, did buy this palazzo with the furniture. We are actually gonna get rid of this bookcase. Um, it's got a stone fireplace. Um, that kind of flesh colored is ceramic. So um, once we get rid of the fireplace and actually um, treat the walls in terms of the cracks, um, we'll get that all, um, and then paint it, we'll get that all ready to go. I have a chair right in front of it so that board does not fall open. I came in um, last week and the board was open. Lots of char uh, just co um, charcoal from the old wood was spilled everywhere. So I just wanna make sure we keep that clean. Um, we now will go into this tiny kitchen. Here is the door. Um, here's a nice cross that my daughter and son-in-law and granddaughter bought for me in um, Germany. So I put that up right up um, as we enter the kitchen. So, okay, so I believe that this was a, probably a Fourier, um, a Fourier before, like during its heyday, because there's the original light, uh, fixture up to the, up to the ceiling. Um, but they did some sort of wall, false wall, and actually did a small kitchen here. Um, we are looking at purchasing um, some good um, kitchen furniture. Um, it has, you know, the water runs great. Um, we have like, or they had this nice little uh, antique, antique uh, table. I kind of use that to prep my, my, uh, my uh, meals. There is a gas stove. Gas works fine. Uh, we actually have a plumber who um, looks after the boiler, looks after the gas lines, and anything that happens um, is on him in terms of liability. So he does that once a year to ensure that and there is safety and proper lines are running um, effectively and efficiently. Um, we did a little bit of a 
temporary bar here because we like to entertain, have some vino, do that sort of thing. Um, we'll pull these cabinets out, but there is a built-in cabinet here, as you can tell. It looks like they did some sticky, I don't know, some sticky stuff on the walls and on the shelving. So here's some leftover glassware. I just cleaned it up and put it in here. And then some leftover uh, china. These are from Bavaria that I kind of cleaned up and, and put in here as well. But I'd love to um, definitely use this, pull off that sticky paper and definitely take um, advantage of this great cupboard space. Um, this is kind of just kind of my meal prep area. Um, nothing fancy. Again, it came with this little table, this little uh, wooden thing. And then this is a, another little table that I've just got uh, dishes in, silverware, my coffee, um, French press, um, a board to cut. And then we've got um, just a little refrigerator. You know, you can get these at Ikea for like 350 um, euro. And then we found this cute little um, Wayne, uh, little Wayne station um, in the kitchen. We decided to keep it. Um, I had my potatoes on here, but I leave tomorrow. So I wanted to make sure um, we got those um, cooked out. Okay. So we looked at the dining room. Uh, again, this is a nice little alcove. Um, we would like to put in a nice um, wingback chair for Steve to have a drink and then another wingback chair um, next to it. Uh, so wingback chair here and a little table and then a wingback chair facing this way um, so we can enjoy our vino, our cocktails, uh, maybe even a cigar. Um, we're, we're probably gonna keep this table. This came with the house, probably put it down in the sub-basement. We'd like to get a nice round table um, with some chairs and um, yeah. So we've got that, um, we've got the radiator there. We've got another alcove there. Um, these lace curtains, I love lace, but these lace curtains have got to go. I'll probably wash them, maybe um, just put them away. But as you can tell, there are cracks um, in the walls. And this is really nothing too concerning because this whole building is made out of stone. So we eventually are, would like to remove um, the stucco, the wall stuff, and expose the stone. We have seen this from our neighbor um, who owns um, the basement um, on the right-hand side, and it looks absolutely stunning. You can see the rings still there up on the ceiling, and uh, not too bad of a of a uh, light fixture. We'll remove that, probably put something new. And again, some cracking here. So, um, this is the dining room. We've got two double doors that lead to the living room or the sojourno. We've got beautiful tile that is absolutely, I think just gorgeous. So once we bring our container from the States over to Italy with um, full of our furniture, we'll be able to, uh, to get this um, room full of furniture and use it as a living room. Again, another alcove with, um, we've got the windows here, we've got the shutters, we've got these ugh, <laughs> uh, not so pretty, uh, lace curtains, um, but eventually we will change those out the next time Steve and I come out. Beautiful view from this window. Looks down into the garden, to the rock, um, or I'm sorry, yeah, the stone wall. We have our neighbors uh, taking advantage of their garden as well and um, actually doing some upkeep but beautiful scenery of the valley. 
All right, as we move over, I had to get this <laughs> drying rack. We do have that washing machine that I used twice um, while I was here. Um, there's my vino. I had a little bit of lentil, so please excuse the empty bowl. And there's my, my water glass. But this particular alcove, uh, we did put um, the really pretty sheer curtains here, and they look absolutely lovely. Look at that as they blow in the wind. Absolutely gorgeous. But I've been reading my book here, drinking vino, eating my meals, and then look at um, the double doors, how they open up the glass ones. And we go right outside and have the most beautiful, stunning view of Trevento and the valley. I will show you more on another video um, as we close up this one. We used it as a bedroom um, for now. Uh, while we're trying to get things organized and furniture out. So it's been working out just fine. And um, yeah, we look forward to showing you more as we go upstairs to the bedrooms. All right, ciao, ciao for now.